Hey everybody, it's Harry from Slap Your Daddy Barbecue. You guys have seen me do 10 pound batches of sausages, 40 pounds with the sausage sensei Bill Dumas. Today you are in for a treat. I'm here with Scott Feiberg from uh, Texas Sausage Company here in Austin. And he's gonna show us how it's actually done on a commercial scale. Yep. And uh, you, you do 40, four, 200 pound commercial sausage batches. 200 pound, yes sir. I'm Scott Beebe. I own Texas Sausage Company here in East Austin. I also own Big's Meat Market down in Buda, Texas, a little bit south of here. Uh, we're currently in the middle of relocating Texas Sausage down to Buda as well. We have a big brand new facility. We want to double in size, brand new equipment, extra coolers and extra space to make some more product. So we've been around since 1942. I'm probably about the fourth owner of the company. I bought it from the great nephew of uh, the original founder of the company. And we primarily make sausages for barbecue restaurants. We're mainly a wholesale business here. So today we're going to kind of walk Carrie and y'all through the steps. Breaking down meats, grinding, mixing with the seasonings, letting it rest. Then we'll get some uh, summer sausages that we did yesterday. We're going to get them into the smokehouse today, show y'all that process. Uh, the beef trim. So the beef trim, it's, uh, we ordered in just two okay. beef trim for it. Have one of the backing plan. All over, all over. Uh, the okay. cow, you know, as they're processing and butchering. We will use our own trim sometimes uh, during the pandemic, for instance. Maple plates we couldn't get, so we had to order, a, which was about 1,800 pounds. Okay. Right but of that, uh, this meat right now he's using his maple plate. Maple plate. Okay, maple That's, plate. That's a beef belly, right? Beef belly. Beef belly. Beef bacon. Yeah. Natural pork casings here, it's a 32 to 35 millimeter casing. We order them in a 55 gallon drum. They come packed in a liquid for us instead of a salt like you could get at some of the grocery stores. You can see what looks like a Ziploc bag in some of those. We get them where it's called two. It actually comes on, as, on a plastic baggie that we can slip over here and it aids us in loading the casing onto the stuffing horn a lot quicker. Uh, we don't have to sit there by hand and go bit by bit, you just slide the whole thing up. So it's another manual process to fill up the stuffing from the leather meat. That's the same heat we just From there, we're going to hang it on this rack, and after we fill up this whole rack of sausages, we're going to put it in our cooler to rest overnight, let the sausage firm up, let all the flavors kind of get together from the seasonings. Tomorrow morning, this sausage will go in our smokehouse. The very next day, it'll be up in our front cooler getting boxed, ready to go out to the public. So this is our smokehouse. This is a uh, Koch smoke tender unit. And you actually walk inside of it. The uh, smoke generation is back on the outside of the building. And it uses a uh, hickory sawdust to generate smoke. And those are little smoke tubes on the seating. So this is smoke tubes. The smoke will come down the sides and it will get drafted back up the center uh -huh. to circulate air. Wow. 130 for one hour. Uh -huh. And then 145 for another hour. hour. And the 165 to ready to go to 158. We don't want any cross contamination, so that's where we keep all of our fully cooked product. This is some sausage that was smoked previously, and it's going to get packaged up this afternoon here today. Uh, we've got product in various stages of packaging. Uh, that summer sausage over there has been vacuum sealed already. Uh, it needs to get dipped in hot water. 
Uh, some of these over here just need some labels and the rest need to go in boxes. 